June 19, 1951. Egyptian-born physician Ayman al-Zawahiri who served as the second in command at Al-Qaeda was born. A surgeon by profession, he graduated from Cairo University with a degree in medicine and a master's degree in surgery. In 1999, he was sentenced to death in absentia during the returnees from Albania trials as a result of his 1990s incitements against the Egyptian government, including the 1995 attack on the Egyptian embassy in Pakistan. As a close associate of al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, he exercised considerable control over the organization's activities. The United States and the United Nations wanted him for his involvement in the bombings of U.S. embassies in Tanzania and Kenya in 1998 and Bali in 2002. He was appointed as bin Laden's deputy in 2004 and later took over as al-Qaeda's number one man after bin Laden was killed in 2011. The United States offered a $25 million reward in May 2011 for information leading to al-Zawahiri's capture. On July 31, 2022, he was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Afghanistan. Ayman al-Zawahiri was born to a wealthy and illustrious family in Giza, Egypt, giving him a background deeply rooted in politics and religion. His parents, Muhammad al-Zawahiri and Umayma Hazam came from affluent backgrounds. His father came from a large family of doctors and scholars. One of his grandfathers, Sheikh al-Zawahiri, was the 34th Grand Imam of Al-Azhar. Umayma Hazam, his mother, came from a powerful and politically active dynasty. Daughter of a literary scholar, Abdul Wahab Hazam, who held many positions, including ambassador to Pakistan, founder and first rector of King Saud University, and served as president of Cairo University. Al-Zawahiri was an excellent student who enjoyed poetry and hated violent sports. He graduated in 1974 after studying medicine at Cairo University and served three years as a surgeon in the Egyptian army. He later opened a clinic in Mahdi, not far from his parents. He earned his master's degree in surgery in 1978 and spoke Arabic, English, and French fluently. As a student, he became involved in youth activism under the influence of his uncle, Mafuz Azam, and a lecturer Mustafa Wasfi. He was also molded by Syed Qutub's Manichaean views on Islamic theology and Islamic history. By his late teens, al-Zawahiri began facilitating the formation of a covert group to overthrow the government. In 1966, the Egyptian government executed Syed Qutub for conspiracy. After the execution of Syed Qutub, al-Zawahiri's mission was to carry Qutub's vision into action. So he and four other high school students formed a clandestine group devoted to overthrowing the Egyptian government. Ayman al-Zawahiri was known to have been married at least four times. In 1978 he married Haza Ahmed Nawari, a philosophy student at Cairo University. Their wedding took place at the Continental Hotel in Opera Square but was pretty conservative, with separate spaces for men and women, no music, pictures, or festivity. They have one son and five daughters. It was said that Haza appeared to be unaware that al-Zawahiri was allegedly a senior al-Qaeda commander for the previous ten years when the United States invaded Afghanistan in the wake of the September 11 attacks in October 2001. Haza and two of their six children were killed in an airstrike in Afghanistan by U.S. forces in late December 2001 after an American aerial bombardment of a Taliban-controlled building at Gardez. Aisha, her four-year-old daughter with Down syndrome, had not been hurt by the bombing but died from exposure to the cold night while Afghan rescuers tried to save Haza. Al-Zawahiri visited Saudi Arabia in 1985 for Hajj, and stayed to work as a doctor in Jeddah for a year. In 1986, he met bin Laden in Jeddah. Other sources claim they met in 1986 at a hospital in Peshawar, Pakistan for the first time. He became bin Laden's personal advisor and physician when his group merged with al-Qaeda. In 1981, he worked at a Red Crescent clinic in Peshawar that cared for injured refugees. While he was there, he made friends with an Egyptian-born Canadian citizen, Ahmed Khadr. During this period, 
Qadr worked with several charitable non-governmental organizations that served Afghan refugees and set up regional agricultural projects. The two frequently spoke on various topics during their interactions. Qadr was accused by the United States and Canada of being a senior associate and financier of al-Qaeda. He was killed on October 2, 2003, along with al-Qaeda and Taliban members, in a shootout by Pakistani security forces near the Afghanistan border. In 1981, al-Zawahiri was among hundreds arrested following the assassination of President Anwar Sadat of Egypt. The assassination plot was initially derailed and Egyptian authorities were alerted. President Sadat ordered the crackdown of more than 1,500 people, including many al-Zawahiri group members, but missed a mole cell unit in the military led by one Lieutenant Khalid. That unit, succeeded in assassinating Sadat during a military parade in October 1981. Al-Zawahiri was tortured in prison by the Egyptian police following his arrest in connection with the assassination of Sadat. Under torture, he revealed the hiding place of Assam al-Kamari, a major in the Egyptian army accused of smuggling weapons and ammunition out of army bases. Al-Kamari was arrested and subsequently executed on the intelligence provided by Al-Zawahiri. Al-Zawahiri was later released from prison in 1984. Under Al-Zawahiri's leadership, the 1995 attack on the Egyptian embassy in Islamabad, Pakistan, was carried out even though bin Laden had not sanctioned the operation because the bombing alienated Pakistan, which bin Laden felt was the best route into Afghanistan. In July 2007, Al-Zawahiri orchestrated the siege of Lal Masjid, the Red Mosque, codename Operation Silence. After the Pakistan Army Troops and Special Service Group took control of the mosque in Islamabad, they found letters from al-Zawahiri directing militants who ran the mosque and adjacent madrasa. The siege lasted for nine days and resulted in the death of 91 militants, 10 Special Service Group commandos, and one ranger. Al-Zawahiri was also implicated in the December 27, 2007 assassination of former Pakistani Prime Minister Bin Azar Bhutto.